So guys, wonderful good morning from Germany's ugliest airport, Berlin Schönefeld, which is due to close though by the end of the month and the new airport is finally open with a little delay of just 12 years. Um, anyways, today I'll be flying to my favorite country in the world, Georgia. It's a beautiful, stunning uh, country where everyone should visit once in their lifetime. And I'll be also flying their flag carrier, Georgian Airways. It's a first timer for me uh, on a 737 in economy class, so I have no idea what to expect, especially since it's still uh, COVID time, but I am very excited. It's the only flight also leaving from here. Uh, and uh, yeah, the airport seems a little busy, so let's see. Maybe the flight is full, maybe not. Uh, but sure, it's going to be a nice adventure. So let's do this and let's go to Tbilisi, Georgia's capital. So I've just checked in a full flight today, which is good news uh, for the industry. And uh, the thing I didn't like is I purchased or pre-purchased my seat, uh, 30K or no, 30F, but it was not in the system. So she could have assigned it to anyone. Um, so if I would have been late uh, checking out, uh, checking in, uh, probably would have lost my seat and the money I've spent. So Georgian, Georgian Airways, that is maybe something you should work on. Improve your system a little bit because that didn't work. So guys, I have a little surprise for you. I always get comments like, can you collab with this YouTuber or can you do a flight review with this guy or this girl? Um, it's gonna be happening. Um, hopefully after the whole COVID uh, situation is over and we can pick any airline. But I'm gonna call this mysterious YouTuber now and he's gonna ask you a very important question which you have to answer in the comment section below. But let me grab my phone. There you go, and let's FaceTime him. <laughs> hey, what's up, Josh? What's up, guys? So, so Josh and I need your help. We're doing a collab, or we're planning to do a collab, but we have no idea what airline to review. So please, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below and vote each other's ideas up so we know which one is the most popular. We're super excited to see what we end up flying because we really have no ideas. So yeah, that's it. That's Dan. We're gonna do a flight review together. I like his idea. So the airline or the comment with the most likes is most likely going to be the airline we're going to review. So tell your friends, tell your family to vote for your comment and it's gonna happen very soon. Uh, plane just landed. So I'm gonna head to the gate now and then we off to Tbilisi. <laughs> So this is also the last month for being the main terminal of Berlin Schönfeld. This one is going to remain as the budget terminal, Terminal 5, and all the operation is going to move to uh, the new terminal starting in October. Yeah, the airport in Berlin is finally opening. When I arrived at the gate, I was surprised that there was no social distancing required. Also, our plane was 90 minutes late, and if you check previous departures, you will notice that Georgian Airways never leaves on time. And this is our bird today. Georgian Airways' only 737-800 was previously owned by the Turkish budget airline Anadolu Jet. It's almost 14 years old and has been in service for over one year with the Georgian flag carrier. We then started boarding and once again it had no system. There was no priority boarding for business class passengers or boarding by zone so you can enforce social distancing. In fact, it was a huge mess and it was once more evident that the airline has no corona concept and doesn't care about the well-being of its customers or staff. On top of that, there was no announcement why the plane was late, neither has ever ever anyone apologized.
Once I entered the cabin, I was greeted by some very lovely cabin crew. The plane still features the old Anadulu jet seats, with 12 seats in business class and 168 in economy class. Hello, welcome aboard. The cabin appeared very clean, which isn't always the norm on older airplanes. The seats are pretty comfortable, but the seat pitch was absolutely awful, and I'm not even that tall. There is no in-flight entertainment other than the onboard magazine. Once again, if the airline actually cares about our well-being, they should be removed because it's a very common touch surface. We then started our journey with a slight delay of almost two hours. When the cabin crew performed their final cabin check, I was randomly shouted at asking what I fastened my seatbelt, which was clearly visible that I was. And I think this crew member needs a bit of courtesy training. Excuse me, sir, is your seatbelt fastened? How about that? that the only way COVID-19 can spread is through airline food. Hence the $500 ticket price only included one bottle of water and no snacks. Once again, cost cutting in the name of Corona. The safety card mentioned that there was Wi-Fi on board, which wasn't the case. So make sure you download some games or movie before your flight. On a positive note, the airline clearly passed the Lou review and the toilet was absolutely spotless. So well done Georgian Airways, well done. The rest of the flight was rather eventless, and once we entered Georgian airspace, I was blessed with amazing views over this beautiful and stunning country. Also, the pilots did an amazing job, absolutely buttering this landing. Well done, boys! Upon arriving at our gate, there was absolutely no effort to social distance again or to disembark by groups. So, welcome to Georgia, to the sea. So guys, let me quickly summarize today's flight on Georgian Airways. And before somebody says I moan or I complain, but from a customer perspective, and this is what my channel is all about, to give you guys, you customer a voice, considering that I paid 500 US dollars, it was not worth it at all. First of all, there was no food, there was no snacks, all we received was a bottle of water. So if you now do this and say you do that in the name of Corona, so you want to um, limit the contact between your crew and passengers, why do you hand out um, bottles of, of water? So at the same time you could give out a snack and you don't need to be cheap. But then also I asked myself while during boarding, uh, while at all times there was no social distancing enforced, um, why was there no boarding by groups? So people in the front, they get in, then people in the back, so pretty much everybody would contaminate themselves. So if somebody was uh, tested positive of corona, the chance that it would have been spread on that flight was actually very high, and then half of the passengers wouldn't even wear uh, their masks properly. No blocked middle seats, so I'm wondering where all, those $500, I'm wondering where they're going to. So. 
I believe this is the airline just trying uh, to be cheap. I know it's difficult times and they need to meet, uh, they need to make um, some cash, but it was overpriced and a rip off in my opinion. And then this is not related to the airline, but when we arrived at Tbilisi, um, all passengers had to go for a COVID test. And now I've been to Iceland, I've been to Faroe Islands where I was always tested, where there's a clear system. People go in one place, they get tested and they leave to a different um, exit. So nobody would get in contact, so COVID can't spread. What happened here in Tbilisi was, everybody was packed into little mini vans. Um, no social distancing, no blocked seats, so people were in a very small space. Um, then as well as we had to queue, there was no social distancing enforced. Um, people would use the same little door exit. So you would go in, get tested and come back and walk past everybody who was waiting, where there once again was a huge chance. And people wouldn't even wear the mask. Like half of the passengers, because it was outside, they wouldn't even wear um, a mask. Where I said like, what is this all about, you know? Uh, it seems like, okay, we want to test, but we don't have a system. And that needs to improve as well. If you don't want uh, corona to spread, then at least do it right, you know? Don't do it because you think you have to do it, then do it right and do it with a concept. And that is just my feedback. Now I've traveled a lot and you can travel, like, and there's nothing wrong about it. Look, I've traveled for like two months and I haven't picked it up. I've been tested so many times and we know how to protect ourselves. But what I saw there at the airport, uh, I don't know, it was rather um, worrying and uh, I'm just sharing my honest feedback. So I hope uh, they can change things there a little bit so we all stay healthy and safe. This was it, that was today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you to make your decision. And overall, I would not recommend Georgian Airways because you can fly Air Baltic, you can fly Lufthansa for half the price where you get so much more in return, a more modern airplane, a better seat pitch, uh, food, etc. etc. So, that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And where are we after? Stay safe and have a safe trip.